Welcome back everyone to the Hunter Call of the Wild with Lady Legend. In today's video, we're heading out to Quatros in search of red deer. But before we get into the video, if you haven't done so yet, please click that subscribe button, ring that notify bell, and if you do enjoy the video, please leave a like and a comment. Thanks so much for joining us today. All right, so we're actually gonna start our red deer hunt off <laughs> with starting to take out a big pack of Iberian wolves and you're gonna find them resting a lot. They rest pretty much all day, 7 a.m. to 7 or 7.30 p.m. They have three different rest zones. So you will see them around the lakes for sure. And they are amazing for generating cash because most of the time when you shoot one, the rest of them do not flee. They just stick around. Sometimes they do, most of the time they don't. And so you can usually take quite a few down and today I'm hunting with the seven millimeter by popular request. It is an awesome gun. I do enjoy hunting with it. It just doesn't allow for a follow-up shot. So it has its pluses and minuses. And that is what we're using today. This level three is fleeing. Let's see if we can't get a shot in on her. That looks good. Yeah, the problem with having to reload the bullet every single time you shoot is everything else is starting to disappear while you're reloading. But the seven mil does pack a stronger punch than the 30 odd six. 30 odd six is a great gun, don't get me wrong. Seven mil is a tiny bit stronger than it. I love hunting reindeer with the seven mil. That's my favorite weapon for reindeer. All right, let's have a look at our wolves. We have a silver. Got a bunch piled up here, another silver, 32.6, female, level three. And that was a hard shot. Nice shot. A couple more up here. That one is a gray, that's a gold, 36.5. He's a level six. And there's our mythical. That's a nice one, 37.9. And he's a gold. We actually started the hunt off on a multiplayer server, but we are gonna head to my map soon. We wanna have a, a check for respawns. And I always, always hunt red deer in their drink zone. And they drink from five to nine or 9.30 a.m. or p.m. That's the best time to hunt them. You're gonna find them around pretty much every piece of water on Quattro. They're not hard to find at all. So we have a six and a seven here, pretty distant shot. That looks good. Gonna have to run all the way over there to pick it up. <laughs> I do get my exercise in this game, that is for sure. And it's a gold, level seven, Trophia 185.2 and popped him in the left lung. Just under 300 meters. All right, so now we are on my map. And we found a level six. Not sure what we got there, but that destroyed it. <laughs> uh, that might not be good. When they drop, that doesn't necessarily mean you got a vital, and I did not. Spinal cord, thoracic vertebrae. Yeah, that's not what you want to hit. That's just a level six. So, oh my goodness. That's melanistic. Is that melanistic? Sometimes my eyes play tricks on me, but that looks black to me. I'm pretty sure that's melanistic. Where are you going, buddy? Come back. <laughs> okay, he is fleeing. And I'm pretty sure that was a melanistic. I don't know, I, I don't trust my eyes sometimes. I've had many times when I thought they were melanistic and they weren't, but I'm pretty sure that was black. And we need to find that. So I'm gonna sneak my way up here. That looks like a pretty nice one. That looks like a decent size seven to me, I think. But I'm not gonna shoot him just yet because I don't wanna spook off my level six Mela if it's around. So I am just gonna travel around the lake. I'm not super worried because it is my map. He's gotta be here somewhere. And I am gonna find him. So I'm traveling around the lake. Sometimes it's hard to tell whether they're regular color or melanistic, but definitely every level six will die. 
And uh, that is not melanistic, but that's okay. Maybe when it respawns, it'll be melanistic. You never know. And he is piled up. Let's have a look at that level six. And that's a silver, 164.1. And we are back to that herd. I am really hoping to find him. I did track him a little bit. His tracks went around in circles, basically. And I just changed the time back. And there's that seven. And I think I'm just gonna shoot him. He's a nice one. Lights out for you, buddy. And hopefully he'll respawn as something even bigger. But he's a pretty nice rack. 204.8. Not too bad. 216.18 kilograms. And look what I found. <laughs> there he is, the big man. And guess where he is? Right at the opening of the top right lake. And he's a respawn. I have killed a pile of max weight range red deer off of this lake. And there he is. So that is pretty sweet. Pretty happy to find him. All right, so we are actually gonna hide in this tree. See how we're invisible in the bottom right hand corner. That is what we want. That's our best chance for not getting detected. And I put out a couple calls with the red deer collar and that is gonna get them moving. I just wanna get them in a little closer so we can get a nice, nice close look at them. Look at him. Wow. And that is why I never get tired of hunting red deer. They're just, oh, they're just so amazing. Now he has quite a few bodyguards. Looks like we're gonna get a shot here in just a sec. Yeah, this looks good. <laughs> and he is down. We smoked him. Let's go have a peek. Yes. And he landed pretty, pretty sweet. That's awesome. Look at him. <laughs> That's awesome. Look at the antlers on them. They're just incredible. There's no other word for it. All right. Yeah, we have a beautiful diamond red deer. 254.2 trophy. He weighs 232.92. And we double lung liver shot at him from 73.67 meters. That is awesome. And back we go to the bottom right hand lake. Gotta find me that melanistic. <laughs> I don't give up easily. But it's always good to kill off all the red deer off your own map that you can because you never know what's going to come back as a respawn, and I'm pretty sure that Melanistic is a respawn. And look at that. There he is. I just left the lake, went and hunted somewhere else for a little while, and came back, and he's there waiting for me, right where I found him in the first place. And Melanistic red deer, not easy to find, so I am pretty excited for this guy. That's the first one off my own and that just about does it. Yes. He is down. Yeah, baby. Let's go have a look. That is sweet. Look at him. Yeah, if you go up close, you, sh you can actually pat down the grass and have a better look at your animal. That is awesome. Melanistic level six silver red deer. He has the trophy of 161.4. Double lunged him with the seven mil from only 58.00 meters. And we will absolutely throw him in the lodge. Very cool. And this is the bottom right hand lake where we found him. Awesome spot for red deer. And let's head into our trophy lodge. So this is my original trophy lodge. I do split up my lodges by reserve. Sometimes I combine reserves, but I don't have all my red deer in the same reserve. They are split up. These are legacy racks. And if we head into this room, this is my true rack room. I have done a fair bit of hunting for red deer 
And yeah, I do have another Melanistic. I think it also was a level six silver, but we're gonna put our diamond and Melanistic from today in the new lodge from after when I reset my account. So these are all Truac diamonds. But let's head into the new lodge and let's set up our diamond from today. There he is. He's pretty, he's a big boy, that's for sure. He's pretty awesome. He looks good there. There's another big one from not too long ago. All right, let's uh, put our melanistic right over here. I will do a trophy lodge tour very, very soon of my older lodges. Not my new ones that I'm just starting to fill up. And there's our beautiful melanistic red deer. That's awesome. And that just about wraps up our video for today. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Please remember to join my Discord. If you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button. And please join us for more videos. Until next time, we'll see you then. You take care.